Yo dudes, what's going on? So in today's video, I'm going to be talking to you guys about my favorite and least favorite bosses in the game. And I'm going to be ranking them by 1 through 6, just the dimension bosses, not the hourly bosses or the um, special bosses. Just the regular dimension bosses that you'll see in the spawning areas. Because if I did, then that would be a long time. <laughs> and I think that that would make a video probably longer than 20 or 30 minutes. Anyways though... My first, I'm going to go from worst to least, or my least favorite to favorite. Now, my least favorite one is the Beast Monkey. Now, the reason why I like the Beast Monkey the least is because he is so boring to fight. His moves suck, and also, his um, the thing he gives you is honestly only okay. It's not too bad, it's not too good. It's just like, it goes for knocking people away, I guess. But other than that, it's only okay. The, bo the, b the boss itself is kind of boring to fight. And, um, yeah, it's just an only okay fight. So it's just annoying. That's boring. So, yeah, that's the reason why he's ranked so low. Anyways, my least favorite, or my second least favorite, is the Beast King. Now, the reason why I'm putting him so low is because he only really has one move that I think that's okay. And it's the King's Outburst, this one right here. Now, the reason why I'm putting this one, um... Now, the reason why I like this one so much is because it's really good in current dimension. It can stun people, so that's the reason why I like it the most. So, yeah, it's really good for that. But other than that, he kind of gives mediocre stuff. The boss fight itself is not fun to fight because it's how easy it is. Like, for some reason, his moves are just so easy to read. Like, his beam, it's not even that good because it goes, it doesn't really uh, shoot super fast. So, you can dodge it really easily. And it's not big at all, so it won't hit you most of the time. It's lightning attack only, like, you're only cl is only, like, right next to him. So, if you're staying away from him, you easily can win the fight. So, it's not hard at all. So, that's the reason why I think he's a really boring boss to fight. And not hard at all. So, yeah. Um, anyways. My fourth f least favorite is the Demon Fox. The one in this dimension. Dimension 1. Uh, the reason why I put him higher than those two is because he gives a... Uh, whatever it's called. Something that allows you to... Where is it? Powers. I have no clue where it is. Okay, it's tailed mode. Yeah, yeah, tailed mode. Okay. Tailed mode allows you to, uh, uh, save 40% of your, uh, health. Well, not save. Sorry. It, when someone attacks you, they, it deals 40% less damage because of that. So, yeah, it just does... It's a 40% damage reduction. That's what it's called. 40% damage reduction. Okay, yeah, but anyways, so it's pretty good. It's the worst one out of all the, uh, of all the boss ones, but it's still really good for new players and other stuff like that. Like, when it first came out, I was like, oh man, this is amazing. It's really great. So, it was epic, and uh, yeah, I really liked it because of that. And it's, uh, Tailed Beast Bomb, this move right here. I use it in, like, basically everything. Tournament, why? Tournament, and, uh, just out here in the, uh, just dimensions. So yeah, it's really great, and that's the reason why I like him a lot. Now we're getting into the second half. The third best one that I like the most is Brawly. Brawly is a fun boss to fight for me, and he is just not too hard, but he is still pretty tough to beat. Like his one move that, uh, I don't know, it's Green Beam Laser, it's, it's pretty strong, and it also does a lot. It, it's pretty strong, and it's really hard to dodge. Like, if it's shooting at you, for some reason, I just can never dodge it. I don't know, it's, I think it just it just tracks you, and it's just so hard to dodge. So, that's the reason why I don't like it, and yeah, that's the reason why I'm rating him so highly. And yeah, it's just a really fun boss fight, and his moves, he gives the, he gives this move, uh, this move right here. And he also gives the, uh, okay, wow, that was really strong. Anyways, he also gives the, um, uh, the, the, the legendary superhuman. Anyways... The reason why I like this one a lot is because it does 45%. It's only a 5% increase of damage reduction than the other one, but it still looks cooler. Well, not really cooler, but I like the hair because I, I was into Dragon Ball at the time, and I still am. But, uh, yeah, it's just a cool thing, so I like that character. All of its moves are good to use. I use them from, like, time to time, and basically everything. It's They're both really good for... Well, the Meteor one is good for fighting all of those guys. Um, I don't really remember what they're called. Slayer enemies, yeah. And it's also good for just fighting in tournaments. The, uh, the, uh, I don't know, brain blast, or burst, uh, energy burst, uh, it, 
it's really it's a really good thing for tournaments and most other things because it has a good radius and it does a lot of damage. Anyways, that's the reason why I picked him for a third best. Now my second favorite one is the masked villain. Now the reason why uh, he's up here is because he gives all of his moves I like to use. They're good and they're not you know not too broken and the boss fight is also interesting and not too hard to fight but it's also really hard at the same time. Now the reason why I say he's not too hard and the reason why I say he is hard at the same time is because some of his moves like the uh, one where he just shoots a big like uh, I don't know beam at you like a concentrated like airwaves or something like that it's not hard to dodge because for some reason I found a glitch where whenever I was fighting it if he's shooting at you and you're still inside of it you can just spam all your moves and you don't take any damage at all and yeah it's just kinda bogus so that's the reason why I say it's not too hard but the reason why I say it is hard is because if you don't spam all your moves that's gonna take conti continuous damage on you so it's gonna do a lot of damage in like you know a couple seconds and you're gonna die from it basically if you're at low health and also another move that it has is a it's like King's uh, it, no it's like the King's fruit with like this move right here but uh, it's a bit different anyways yeah the, so it's kind of hard to dodge if you're right next to him but it's pretty easy to dodge if you're you know nowhere close to him so its moves are pretty good hard to dodge or well you know somewhat hard to dodge and it's a fun boss fight but he also gives some really good stuff uh, too which uh his where, where, where is it uh, uh, stage four. No, not not that. That's not it. But no, no, no. Springy limbs. That's what it's called. Spring limbs. Anyways, springy limbs is a thing where it gives like I think ten percent or fifteen percent. Uh, yeah, no, it's fifteen percent. Uh, okay, whatever. It gives fifteen percent uh damage boost and also a thirty-five percent damage reduction. Which this is the only boss one that actually did it at the time. I I think it actually might be still the only boss one that does that. But anyways. It gives those stats, which I was like, and I used them in tournament, and like everyone used them in tournaments at the time. So it was like the super, the best thing, and you basically couldn't win without that. So I, you know, grinded for it and got it finally. But it was really great, and I loved the moves, and it carried me through a while. It's all of its moves are pretty okay. Once you get them, they're actually okay. There's one move that uh, once you get it, you can use it on like enemies who are just basically just grind one stat. And uh, what I mean by that is. There is a thing that he gives, or it can um, reverse all like half the damage that um, that someone throws at you. So, say I throw a move at you, and you know you normally die because you're way weaker than me, or you know, I'm, this is just a assumption, by the way. Now, say you're way weaker than me, and I throw something at you, and you use the move on me. I forgot what it's called. Let me actually check. I don't remember what it's in. Let me. Uh... Okay, I finally found it. It is in uh, the strength category. It's called impact recoil. Now, the reason why uh, this is because once someone throws attack, at you, once I throw an attack at you, and you're going to die by us, but if you use your ability, it will reject or it will put 50% of the attack right back at me. So, say I only put like you know all my stats into one category like strength, and I hit you with a strength stat, that would also kill me too. For those five seconds that the thing is activated for, it'll just uh, basically just kill anyone practically if they're if they only put one stat into thing. It's also good for tournaments modes, well, sort of. You wouldn't be using it too much because it's not the best thing, but yeah, it's okay. Anyways, that's the reason why I think it's a cool move, and I've had some fun experiences with it too. But <laughs> when people are just, you know, like really big and they're just kind of tormenting the server, you can use it on them. And uh, usually they quit because they think that some guy who's really strong killed them. So, they, yeah, this, this has happened to me a couple times, so, you know, that's the reason why I like it a lot. Anyways, that's the reason why I rank him the second best. Now, finally, for the first best. And you can probably guess it because it's the only one that's actually left. And it is the demon. Yeah, just the demon. That's that's literally off the entire name. Just demon. Now, um, the reason why I rate him so highly is because his move that he gives you, like, uh, his, or a special that he gives you, uh, it's basically just a, um, it's re I don't know how to explain it, but it's really good. It's basically just tons of swords and, uh, like, just basically so tons of swords flying at you. Like, I love the abilities. Mine, uh, from my experience with it, it has just been so epic. And I really like it a lot. Sure, it doesn't give you anything like strength or anything like that, but you don't really need it anymore because of Explosive Nova. So all of the other bosses, things that give you, you know, like, boosts and, like, stuff like that, it's just kind of useless now. 
but it is so fun to use. It's really powerful for just uh, slaying basically uh, slayers and also good for tournaments. It's good for everything, really. So that's the reason why I rate him so highly. And it's a hard boss fight, too. I really like it. It's really good detail. Everything about it is fun and epic. I just like the boss fight a lot. Now, I wasn't going to rate him so highly originally because I didn't think he was that good. But, uh, you know, I fought him a couple times. Uh, by I fought him before all the glitches started happening where you can't even fight the boss anymore. So, yeah, he was tough, and I liked him a lot, actually. So it was cool. And, yeah, that's the reason why I rate him so highly. Now, you don't have to agree with my opinions at all. You can just tell me what you guys agree with, or you guys can just tell me what you guys think about in the comments below. So, yeah, it will be fun to hear what you guys think about yours. And, obviously, <laughs> again, you guys don't have to agree with me. Because this is just my opinion, and you guys, everyone else has to, uh, entitled to their own, own opinion. So, thank you guys so much for watching this video. And, uh, if you guys did enjoy watching this video, please consider liking the video. It greatly helps, and I greatly appreciate it. You can also comment on the video, just telling me, you know, like, what you guys think about this, or what you guys, um, think about, like, what your favorite bosses are, and what most difficult, and, like, stuff like that is. And lastly, you can subscribe to this channel. Subscribing to this channel, like, really helps. It, it is probably, you know, like, the thing that I, uh, would help me out the most, probably because, uh, I'm trying to reach 500 subscribers, soon and you know no 420 sorry 420 i'm almost there i actually might be there soon but uh yeah i'm at 420 and also i reached recently reached 400 hours so i just want to say thank you guys so much for the constant support it's really amazing and just thank you guys so much uh but yeah now i'm trying to reach 420 now 420 is a haha -ha funny number so i really want to get that uh you know because it's memes anyways yeah so it would help out a lot if you guys considered subscribing Anyways, though, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!